This is April 25, 2017. I am documenting the illegal aliens mafia harassment uh, with the citizens uh, in harassment of uh, um, their victims, its victims, and the illegal aliens mafia. Uh, member harassing uh, the illegal aliens mafia victims, Luisa Ollastron and myself, Solange Martinez, Professor Martinez, uh, is Esteban Diaz Rivera, which uh, this has been documented uh, many times with the Rochester Department of uh, Police uh, in the city of Rochester, New York, upstate New York, but nothing uh, changes. The person continues to uh, come every night almost to um, steal from us, uh, vandalize the house, or um, do something illegal, and nothing happens. Uh, the police doesn't uh, just tells, tells him not to violate the law, but doesn't do anything to reinforce the law uh, when he does violate, violate uh, it, and uh, this normalizes the uh, situation with him. Let me call the police to find out what I can do regarding this problem. Three thirty Electric Avenue, Rochester, New York, one four six one three. What's the nearest corner street? Um, I don't know, but the uh, nearest uh, street perpendicular to it is uh, Chamont Street. Are you near Norbert Street? Uh, no, near Chamont. Okay, and is that a single family home or an apartment? Single family home. Okay, what is your name? Uh, Solange Martinez. Nine one four six one nine eight three six two. All right, tell me exactly what happened. Um, I have reported uh, an illegal aliens mafia member called uh, Esteban Diaz Rivera, who is also a drug dealer and a heroin and cocaine and marijuana user, for harassment and trying to kill me and my elderly and chronically ill disabled mother, who is dying of cancer, unfortunately. He tried to kill us many times, and he continues to come every day to the house to try to break in and to what's kill your us. With him? Um, he rented uh, a space uh, to my elderly mother um, in, on uh, Is he the landlord. Uh, yes, uh, but he rented a space, and then he uh, he was living here, and he left because of the many um, psychotic episodes that he has. What's uh, the tenant or the landlord? The landlord. Um, he moved away uh, on the 9th of March 2017, but I don't know where he lives. Okay. So it's just like um, he's not there right now, but he's been harassing you? Yes. He comes every night trying to break in into the house. He has break, broken into the house like five or six times. Uh, uh, I'm going to transfer you to speak to someone and make a report over the phone, okay? Thank you so much. Um, you're welcome. Don't hang up. You're going to hear a dial tone in a moment. How can I help you? Hi, this is Professor Solange Martinez. I was transferred to you by the 911 operator because um, I have uh, um, an illegal aliens mafia member by the name of uh, Esteban Diaz Rivera who has tried to kill me many times and to kill my elderly and chronically ill disabled mother who is dying of cancer, unfortunately. And uh, she transferred me to you to do a report over the phone because he comes uh, every night uh, to the house to try to break in to kill us and also to who's still... Who's, who's trying to break in every night uh, to kill you? Uh, Esteban Diaz Rivera. Okay, who was he to you? Uh, he was the landlord who used to live here, uh, but he moved away because he couldn't control him, his, himself. He's psycho, um, psychopathic 
um, episodes. So uh, I had to call the police because he wanted to kill us uh, several times, and the police came. Oh. So. Okay, the police came and did what? Uh, I'm sorry. What did the police do? Uh, they uh, took away a, a rifle that uh, he had with ammunition. They also took away the ammunition. But um, since uh, uh, he had two guns, one that was a handgun and the rifle, he kept the handgun because the police couldn't find it. Um, he, they also found heroin, um, and marijuana, and other drugs. And um, uh, he was uh, drugged at the time. Uh, but um, he told me that if he called, if I called the police uh, on him again, he was going to kill me and my mother. Uh, and I had to call the police uh, many times because he has tried to uh, do so many times. And uh, now yesterday at night, about um, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, he came and uh, he tried to break in, but he couldn't. So he, uh, since he's a mechanic, he took away uh, the brakes of my Toyota Corolla 1995 because he uh, takes um, he steals a part from uh, other people's cars, uh, cars when he's fixing somebody else's cars. Uh, somebody else's car, and then he uh, replaces the part of the car that he, he's fixing with the part uh, of somebody uh, somebody's car that he stole. So um, okay. he did that last night, and I don't know what to do. Did you call the police last night? No, it was about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, and my mother is chronically ill, and I didn't want her to be up uh, like for two or three hours. Every time we call the police, we have to be up for two or three hours. So I decided to wait until now and call the police during the day. Okay. Did you actually see him last night? Yes. Um, and he also has a camera uh, in the backyard. Uh, if you ask him uh, for the camera, you can see the video from last night about one o'clock in the morning. Solange, uh, S as in Sam, O as in Orlando, L as in Love, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, G as in George, E as in Elephant, uh, and Martinez, M A R, T as in Tom, I N E, Z as in Zebra. Okay. What is your last, What is your address? 330 Electric Avenue. Rochester, New York, 14613. Okay, what is your phone number? 914, area code 619-8362. Okay, I'll send an officer over. Okay, thank you so much. Because uh, I, I don't know what to do. He has come here. Um, yesterday he came, the day before he came, the day before and the day before, and I don't know what to do. He doesn't stop uh, trying to break in and or uh, stealing from us. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'll have an officer come over. Thank you so much.